When I started my blog, it was with a simple idea. Travel the world searching for people whose style define who we are today. My name is Scott Schumann, and I am the Sartorialist. What I find interesting about the burlesque scene is how curvier women, who would not necessarily be celebrated for their beauty or their body type in mainstream society, are completely celebrated and put on a pedestal in that society. I think confidence is sexy, joy. When somebody's found their passion, that's sexy because you can feel that coming from them. I met Grace through a friend, and like a lot of the dancers I've met, she feels that dancing in burlesque allows her to share and explore her sensuality in a safe and accepting environment. Did you find when you put on these different costumes that it helped you find that character? That's one of my favorite parts of performing. It's almost like a ceremonial thing where you get everything out, you start getting dressed, and it's like you're putting on your character, your mood. You've got the red lipstick. You do your hair in waves. You might be wearing flowy chiffon and you feel like a 1930s, you know, silver screen siren, or you put on something latex and you feel like this vampy, take no prisoners lady. Is there a particular piece that you put on? You're like, okay, now I'm this character. All the layers feel very sexy. What I love a lot about burlesque is that feeling of being dressed to the nines and just it makes you feel personally done up inside to the nines. I like that. It's like celebrating being alive through fashion. And then funny enough, the removal of fashion, <laughs> you find individual expression. Were you ever tentative when you first started? Like, oh, you know, am I ready for this? Am I ready to go out and, <laughs> and, and do this in front of these people? There's sort of like an invisible divider between you and the audience. So I can interact with the audience and yet at the same time feel completely welcome and open to express my sexuality however I like. I get the same thing when I take my glasses off. Because I don't, <laughs> I'm serious, really, when I I'm, it. you know, it's not like I love walking up to people on the street and asking if I can take their photograph. And by not yes. having my glass on, same thing, I have like a little bit of a distance between me and the person. You know, when I perform, I still feel like I'm myself. It's the confident, no holds barred self. We're not being exploited by like some club owner that's making us do this and we have no other choice. We are putting ourselves yeah. in this position because we absolutely adore the work. I love women. You can tell it in my photographs. I love the way they move. I love the different body types. I love the infinite variety that is women's beauty. There's something so seductive about a woman who controls her own sexuality and yet chooses to share it with you. Fencing is the sport of kings. It's the way disagreements were decided amongst royalty. The duel can be vicious, a fight to the death, but over the years it's developed into a sport where drawing first blood is what it's all about. 